Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing video from Always Play Blue. Today we're going to look at Royal Visit, a two player game from Yellow. So straight away I'm going to big up the artwork in this game, it is absolutely gorgeous. The, the colours, the design, um, it really makes the game stand out on the shelf. Um, and that is carried on through the entire production, the map, the pieces, the cards. It's, it's very vibrant uh, and I really really like it. Um, so inside the box, the uh, box cover is again on the, the rule book. I flicked through the rule book quickly. Um, I'm going to watch a how to play video because I'm much better with the videos. I tend to always miss something when I scan through a, with a, a manual. Um, but yeah, great, you know, the examples and the reminder on the back is always nice to have a little shorthand there. And then the inside itself, that's the crown token, one of the two end game conditions. If you can get that to the either chateau, then that's a win. And then the player pieces themselves. We've got two royal guards, one each end there. They stay with the king the entire game, either side of him, protecting him. Uh, and then you've got the jester. Uh, obviously, bonus points there for a blue player piece. Always fond of a blue player piece. Uh, and then there's the king himself. This is the guy you're trying to get to come over and hang out in your chateau. Um, choose your places to have the uh, opposition there. And there's the wizard, which will be representing the other player in the game. And then there's the final royal guard. Uh, and they're really nice chunky pieces. Um, I mean, they could have been small carcasson sized meeples, but uh, they're nice and big, uh, nice printing on them and nice and wide. So there's no, you know, knock on the table when they fall over. Um, get rid of that. <laughs> uh, and then these are the cards themselves. So there's a set of cards for each of the characters with different movement criteria on them. Um, and again, the artwork, uh, I'm gonna go on about the artwork. The back of the cards, beautiful. Um, all the same design there and then on the front each uh, character has their own design artwork um, it just looks gorgeous it'll look good as a poster on the wall uh, and you can see the clear uh, top corners there the clear uh, markings to tell you what the movement functions is for each of the, the characters so it's quite clear again which character you're using and which movement uh, range they have uh, and then uh, the final piece in the box is the board or mat um, we have the mandala mat um, this is a, a much better quality, it's very soft. Um, and again, the artwork. <laughs> I do love how the chateaus look on it and you've sort of got the, the B&Q uh, color chart at the top there, which is where you move the crown token up and down. Um, it's just, the whole lot looks really nice, all set up. It's gonna look great to play on the table. Um, and then the, um, the insert itself. Uh, everything just fits so nicely. I don't think, I think the slot for the cards, you can sleeve them, but it all, the height of the sleeve cards will come out of there, but everything's got finger holes um, to be able to get everything out really smoothly, and it all fits back tidy. So uh, another fantastic addition to our sort of two-player only sub-collection we have. Uh, I look forward to getting to the table and playing soon.